Hello, everyone. I hope you're excited to start your project this week. Um, you'll notice that it can be found on our Canvas page. If you scroll down to the paintbrush, it takes you to your assignments for this week. And you'll see your week of action project right here. So if you click there, um, you can see all of the examples of the 13 uh, Black Lives Matter principles we're looking at this week, um, put into 13 different posters. Uh, so remember, your job for this week is to create one of these posters um, portraying one of these 13 principles. So you must choose one of the principles from diversity, restorative justice, unapologetically Black, Black families, Black women, Black villages, globalism, loving engagement, empathy, queer affirming, transgender affirming, intergenerational, and collective value. We're going to be looking at all of these um, posters this week, mostly Monday and Tuesday. I want to give you guys a lot of extra time this week to make sure your posters, you know, mean a lot to you and our, you spend a lot of time on them this week. That's what I want you to focus on. So on Monday and Tuesday, we're gonna take a look at the 13 principles. And we're also going to talk about the three art components that you need to have in a poster like this. So a non-objective design, like a symbol or a pattern, a representational design like a portrait or hand or building or something recognizable and then a, some kind of text so your text will probably be one of your um, whatever principle you choose just kind of look at these and try to base it off of these you see the text here you see a recognizable um, object like a person or a portrait and then you see more of like a symbolic uh, not very realistic looking symbol in the back for most of these. So you can um, look at the examples of the posters. And on Monday, I will have you for your Monday assignment, you're going to choose which principle you want to do for your project on Monday. And you're going to think about other words that could possibly go on to your um, poster for this week. On Tuesday, I'm gonna have you uh, look at different symbols, different designs, some of these things here in the back. Um, so you can get some ideas for what you might wanna use. And then the last part, the representational component, like a portrait of somebody or a hand, that's up to you um, how you want to show that. So we will get started on these projects um, on Monday and Tuesday for your assignments. And then after that, it's up to you to make it happen. Um, to do this project, you're gonna need a eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper or bigger. So that's a regular notebook size paper or larger. Try to use blank paper if you have it, but if you only have line notebook paper or scrap paper, then use that. Um, Use whatever you have. There's no excuse to not do this project. You all have some kind of scrap paper you can find and some kind of pencil or pen. Um, so use what you have. If you only have paper and pen, then use that. But if you have colored pencils or crayons or markers, watercolors, acrylic paint, use it. Have fun with it. A lot of you guys um, really surprised me with our project last week. You used some watercolors and some paint and I was really impressed. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with for this week's project. If you also feel like creating a digital drawing, then I'm okay with that too. These posters that are the examples, they're created digitally, but we don't have that kind of software on everybody's device um, to make that happen. So we're going to draw hours on a piece of paper. So this should be a drawing, um, a colored pencil or marker or watercolor drawing. Um, 
A lot of these, the great ones, will be used for our March 4th Black History collaboration and celebration. So make it good, make it awesome. These mean a lot um, for this month. And then make sure it's creative. Make sure you have your three components of a non-objective art, a representational art, and a text. Make sure it's neat. I want to be able to read any text that you have and clearly see the three different components of your poster. Um, colorful. Remember, if you have colors, use them. It makes your project better. But if you want to use black and white, um, just make sure that you're using some shading and a, a lot more detail if you're just using black and white or just pencil. And make sure it's finished. I do not want you to turn in something that is halfway done. Um, you will only get half credit. So make sure it's complete, make sure it's finished. And then to turn it in, you're gonna reply to the discussion board with a photo or short video of your project. So you'll scroll down, click reply, and press your music notes to record or press your picture icon to upload your picture and then click post reply. Okay, so have fun with this. We're gonna be spending a lot of class time talking about this. Um, so I recommend you come to class this week. If you do happen to miss Monday and Tuesday, make sure that you watch the Monday and Tuesday video in the Monday lecture and notes page and the Tuesday lecture and notes page to see what you missed um, and how to catch up, how to get started on your week of action project. All right, have fun with this. And I'm really excited to see what you stand for this week.